The following video clip will provide information on the servicing of the reduced pressure principle model RPZ sizes 2.5 inch through 10 inch. Let us begin by identifying some of the main components of the valve. The body has a fusion bonded epoxy coating. It also consists of an inlet shutoff valve and outlet shutoff valve, four ball valves, two spring-loaded check valves, and a relief valve assembly located between the two checks. A single access cover allows for easy removal of internal parts during the maintenance of your valve. For your convenience, Flomatic's backflow preventers are serviced with common tools. No special tools will be needed to service your valve. Begin by removing your valve from service. First, close the inlet shutoff valve, and then the outlet shutoff valve. Next, the internal pressure must be released by opening the ball valves. Begin with ball valve number four, then number two, and finally, number three. Next, use a wrench to take bolts out of top cover. Cover is spring-loaded. To avoid injury, hold cover down firmly with one hand while loosening bolts. Once the valve has been removed from service, the internal components can then be inspected. It is important to service your valve to ensure proper operation. Relief valve servicing, two and a half inch through 10 inch. First remove the relief valve assembly. For easier serviceability, the relief valve assembly simply unscrews for easy removal of parts. A wrench may be needed to loosen piston from stem. Inspect O-rings and diaphragm for damage and embedded debris. Next, unscrew disc retainer from disc holder. Remove disc and inspect for damage. Should any rubber parts of the relief valve assembly need replacement, Flomatic has repair kits available. The disc may also be temporarily reversed until a replacement is available. You must inspect the removable stainless steel seat for damage. To remove, simply push seat up from underneath into valve and then remove. Before reinstallation of the relief valve, apply an FDA-approved lubricant to the relief valve O-rings. Check valve servicing 2.5 inch through 10 inch. The RPZ units have two check valves that require regular servicing. The checks feature a simple inline stem type design. Although the first check has a heavier spring, removal and servicing procedures will be the same for both checks. Each check is held into place by a stainless steel spring clip. Channel locks or standard pliers will be needed to remove the clip. To remove, position the pliers around the spring clip tabs and take care to squeeze the tabs fully together with a secure grasp. Angle pliers away from check and pull the spring clip away from valve groove. For your safety, disengage the spring clip inside the valve body before removing. After removal of all internal components, inspect the sealing areas within the valve and clean them as needed. Flushing the system is recommended. The check valve assemblies consist of an unleaded disc holder, a silicone disc, a stainless steel washer, a captured spring and seat assembly, and an O-ring. To disassemble your check valve, simply unscrew parts. Use two wrenches to break the seal by loosening the captured check assembly from disc holder. Warning! Serious injury will result if instructions are not followed. In the 4-inch to 10-inch models, the spring is captured due to dangerous high tension in the spring. It is designed with a bolt to keep the spring from dislodging. When breaking the seal, make sure the disc holder is held tight with one wrench while the capture check assembly is rotated loose with the other wrench. Make sure not to loosen the spring retaining bolt 
on the top of stem. Note, the 2.5 inch to 3 inch sizes are designed without a captured spring, so that when parts are unscrewed, you must be careful when releasing the spring tension. Once seal is broken, secure stem and unscrew disc holder. You may now remove the silicone disc and inspect it for damage. Should any rubber parts of the check valve assemblies need replacement, Flomatic has repair kits available. The silicone disc may also be reversed until a replacement is available. Once the inspection is completed, rinse all components thoroughly to remove any foreign material. When reassembling the check valve, make sure to replace stainless steel washer with double side facing the silicone disc. You must also apply an FDA approved lubricant to check O-rings. After the check servicing is fully completed, simply reinstall the internal parts. Begin by lowering the check into the valve body and firmly pressing it into groove. Lower the spring clip into valve body and squeeze the tabs fully together with pliers. Completely fit the spring clip into groove before releasing. For additional information, please call us at 1-800-833-2040 or visit us online at www.flomatic.com.